right, in this video, we're going to take a look at a uh, review question that would be for a Calc 1 final exam. The absolute minimum value of the function f of x equals x times natural log of x is what? So the first thing you're going to need to do here is take the derivative of this function. So f prime of x is equal to, I've got product rule going on, so I'm going to have x times the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, all right, plus the natural log of x, and then times the derivative of x, which is 1. All right, at this point, then, I am going to go ahead and simplify this. I got an x over an x here, so this will go down to a 1 plus natural log of x. We're going to want to set that equal to 0, so 1 plus natural log of x is equal to 0. I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. Natural log of x is equal to a negative 1. All right, now here I need to solve this equation. All right, so that natural log of x has a base of e, so I'm going to switch here into exponential form. All right, so then I'm going to have an e to the negative 1 is equal to x. And I'm getting rid of that um, negative exponent there, I'll have a 1 over e equals x. All right, so there is the x value at which that minimum value occurs at. So now I just need to plug that back into the original function to see what the actual minimum value is. So I'm going to do f of a 1 over e. All right, plugging that into my original function, I'll have a 1 over e, natural log of 1 over e. All right, we're going to want to simplify this out a little bit here. If I take a look at this, this natural log of 1 over e, there has a base of e right there. So if I take a look at this, let's pull this out over here. If I write that in exponential form, I'll have an e raised to the x equals 1 over e. Taking this and going into, again, that exponential form. Okay, so now doing that, um, I can take the 1 over e and make it, um, you know, laws of exponents, raise it to the top and make it a negative 1 there. So e to the x is equal to e to the negative 1. So that tells me um, x equals negative 1 right there. So then this quantity is a negative 1. So I've got a 1 over e times a negative 1. That's going to give me an overall answer of negative 1 over e. So that's the actual y value. That's the absolute minimum value of the function. All right, it occurs at x equals 1 over e. The actual y value there is a negative 1 over e. So um, actually a pretty straightforward uh, question about absolute min there that you could encounter on a Calc 1 final exam. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.